Hey guys, this is 18.2. Welcome back to Dan the Demo Man. In the last part, let's see, uh, we did a lot. We are now in the middle of the lunar events. Uh, off camera, I used up the rest of my truffle worms and killed nine Duke Fishrons. So we're going to see what I get from those. In addition, I uh, completed my proper invincibility box and did a number of pumpkin moons, as you can tell. I also finally got the, the bunny banner. And because I like showing off the pets... I'll come back to those. So, the cursed sapling. He's pretty adorable. He's bugging out right now. Alright, the spider flies on a web. But personally, I like the lizard. So, I'll be keeping the lizard with me. The sapling is a close second, though. We had 23 morning wood trophies, 25 pumpkin trophies. I also got a few necromantic scrolls. Uh,. I have a, and again, there is a reason I have a stack of bubbles. And that reason is that I might, if my if my Moon Lord arena doesn't work, uh, the bubbles will be part of my second arena. Anyway, enough dilly dallying. Nine Duke Fish Rom bags go. Alright. I got <laughs> I got another dev set. I got another dev set. Wow. Got some Duke Fishron masks, razor blade typhoon. Which is uh, more generally one of the best drops. The Flareon. The Flareon, rather. Shoots out bubbles. Bubble gun I've shown off. Shrimpy Truffle, I actually haven't. Let me show that off. He is pretty slow. But now, you can see, when I'm at low health, uh, or when he touches water, I get a massive speed boost. So, give me 30 seconds. Alright, inventory is sorted. It is time to take on the next pillar. Actually, if I could use my cannons there, that would be kind of humorous. Uh, no. Nah. Vortex Beater. Uh, death. Death is what's happening. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I can afford to use the explosive bullets here. Fortunately, the Vortex Beater has a natural explosive with it. So, it's just... Switch to the Shrimpy Truffle. Um... Also, let's take the die off, because the because cute Fishron is too cute. All right. So now, full speed ahead. Up. 
focus. You know, now that I think about it, I could probably use chlorophyte bullets with this. Except that I'm saving up for the drill containment unit. Okay, th th this is going well. This is definitely going well. Nothing is wrong. That's why I'm switching my entire strategy. Um, I think I, I think I'll put the cosmic car key back on. Heal up. Come over here. Hello, brain sucker. Would you kindly stop doing that? I can do this. I know I can do this. I've done this before. I may need to mix up, uh, mess with my accessories a bit. Alright, that did not work. So, new plan. Uh, I am going to try to avoid using the solar eruption even though it explodes. Um, Alright, this plan is completely airtight. Nothing can go wrong. See, everything's dying. The things that teleport are doing their thing. Uh, yeah, let me put a second tower down there. And then just keep up with the homing rockets. And oh my word, where are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> Nebula floater. It had to have teleported onto me. I can't think of any other way that could have happened. Oh, shoot. What is... What are you? Alright. All my healing stuff... is on. Nebula floaters are a pain. Hello, other nebula floater. I took off my wings, right. Um, I honestly do not regret that. 
Um, wait. Uh, no, no. Nope. Shield's not down yet. Strap those down. I got a banner. For the brain suckers. Um. Alright, so yeah, nebula floaters are the only thing that's really scary. But this seems to be doing alright against them. I say as I die. Shield still up, which is annoying. enemies are almost the worst. In general, they're the worst. The thing that prevents them from being the actual worst is the existence of crawl torpedoes. Crawl torpedoes are just worse. The strategy seems to be working. Um, although, I'm definitely better off having wings. I also may eventually give in and use the. Uh, solar eruption for something like that just to get more mobs spawning I I, I don't even know there But I hope this does show off a bit more of why the shiny stone is so good. It plus the honey is basically what's allowing me to survive as long as I am. Wait. The shield's down. Shield is down. Now, here I'm gonna have to... I've got my minds working on the nebula pillar. So, yeah, yeah, look at that damage. Just, there's a...
Why am I hearing it? I'm nowhere near it. Anyway. Yep, it killed the pillar. The nebula pillar died before I could uh, get back to it. Yeah, the explosive traps are really, really good. Um, anyway, with ugh, 39... Uh, nebula fragments. I could make nebula fragment blocks. I could make uh, the nebula arcanum which is pretty neat and the nebula blaze. Uh, if I recall correctly the Nebula Blaze actually explodes. So I might... I might show that off. Uh, beyond that, there's really nothing... The Nebula Filler... Uh, the Nebula Filler. Wow. The Nebula Pillar offers me. The Stardust Pillar offers more. The big thing that the... Nebula Pillar gave me is my old one's army arena back because now that I have some uh, some lunar well not proper lunar uh, but lunar event weapons Uh, I should be able to take on the Old One's army. Now, as good as... As good as... Uh, um, yeah, what's it called? Ugh, I can't remember what I was saying now. Nope, can't remember. Either way, I'm gonna... give Old One's Army a little bit of trip. Oh, Flame Burst Staff, that's what I was saying. Um, I have to use the Flame Burst Staff with Old One's Army because I mean when I say I have to I'm like 99% certain that I have to uh, I have to use them just because uh, the, the thing that makes the explosive traps so good doesn't actually apply to Old One's Army, as I'm sure you know. So, I'm gonna open up. Oh, hi there. And for expert mode, Old One's Army, post Golem tier, I have no qualms with using the Solar Flare. Uh, and switching to my Vortex Beater as needed. Did not realize you guys were still alive. 
However, the explosive traps are good for the for an initial burst of damage against basically everything. Oh right, there are flying enemies now. Yeah, so they can just bypass everything. Forgot about that. Twenty. Gra uh, throw down one mine there. One mine here. Oh, and I was wrong. It's the Nebula Arcanum that explodes. Not the mantle. Oi, bad wyvern, bad wyvern. I mean, yes, you're doing what your objective is, but still, bad wyvern. And, um, that's the end of this event. Well. I guess I'll show off the Nebula Arcanum. Yes, I do have enough to show that off and resummon the Moon Lord when I inevitably fail my first attempt. So, Nebula Arcanum. That's not what I recall it doing. Oh, there we go. There, there was the explosion. Let me try to actually show off the explosion. It costs... how much mana? 30 mana? I could summon two traps for that amount. Enemy. I need... something to hit. Come on. I just want to show this blasted thing off. Alright, I'm in the crimson. Cardinal. Alright, I know where to go. And... Yeah. All right. Oh, shoot. Still not the right. Where's, what's my dungeon teleport? There. Are, look at that damage. It homes. And it explodes. So, it also shoots reasonably fast. Uh, it is a very good weapon, as are uh, basically all of the lunar weapons. Uh, however, I will not be using it. Ooh, wait, I'm selling it. Because... Well kind of not how 
this challenge should be. Done that. So, that was the Nebula Pillar. And my first attempt at Expert Mode's Old One's Army. Hold up. Hold up. My, I think I'm going to make a second attempt before I end this video off. Come on. I will take Masterful. So, I won't use the Nebula Arcanum generally, but Old One's Army, anything with explosions goes. Because. Screw old one's army. Hi, purple slime. So the fun part is, I don't actually have magic armor. Or any magic buffs, for that matter. At least not on me. So I'm going to be completely reliant on star drops. I am doing worse than I was before. That is a fantastic sign of things to come. Oi! No hit! No! Hey! No! 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 Oh my word. This is... Yeah, that's what happens when you try to use magic weapons without magic armor. Get some solar flaring. Get some nebula arcanuming. Uh, get some death, apparently. Well, not not quite, but pretty darn close. Yep, this is going really really well. Definitely going really well. And I only made it to wave two. Yeah, Old One's Army is going to take a bit more uh, finesse planning. in order to be in all honesty uh, once I if I'm able to make it to the final wave Betsy should go down pretty easily anyway we beat the nebula pillar we fought old one's army twice and failed twice but so this has been 18-2 and I will see you guys next time.